Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of DDOA Career Path with Omar Abdin. I am Omar, and uh, today I've uh, I spent the last little while recovering from making the last video because the last video really was a tough one in terms of trying to remember the challenges of my the first steps in my entrepreneurship journey and the and the failure that ensued from you know my third my third attempt so we take up the story again in 2014 um, if I if you remember December 2013 was a low point of my life at that point I weighed nearly a hundred kilos all of my uh, blood work was out of whack blood pressure cholesterol all the KPIs were out of whack and um, today I mean just for reference I weigh 72 right so that's how overweight I was how in you know how bad my health was at the time so in 2014 um, I was very very lucky I was referred to a role with the newly formed Al Ittihad Credit Bureau um, and uh, they were looking for someone to work in the marketing uh, team. Uh, the, the ACB, for those of you who don't know, is basically a credit scoring company, um, credit reporting company, and it was the first uh, and only government uh, or semi-government body authorized to collect uh, credit data on uh, Emiratis and um, expats alike from all the banks. Uh, so all the banks used to report the data into ACB and then ACB would compile reports for, uh, for people who were, you know, applying for credit, for loans and so on. So Launching a new service like this to the public is always exceptionally hard and this was uh, a very exciting challenge. It was also my first foray into fintech, uh, financial technology. Uh, so I was really excited about it. Uh, the team was uh, comprised of uh, an eclectic group of nationalities. Of course, it was a government entity, so we had many Emirati colleagues, um, some of whom uh, we are, you know, we're friends till today, and uh, we are in touch till today. It was, um, it was just that kind of uh, an environment. Um, the uh, the company was led by our CEO uh, Marwan Al Uh Marwan is, uh, you know, very dynamic. Uh, well-spoken, confident uh, leader in the space. Tough, tough boss, but um, you know, knows uh, knows how to uh, to run the bureau uh, exceptionally well. He has. Um, he and I uh, always managed to get along well, and you know, focused on launching the bureau services to. Both uh, banks, who are who are suppliers of data, as well as buyers of reports, and then obviously to consumers, uh, some of whom were unaware of why the data was being collected, and you know, it was a it was a big communication and marketing challenge. So, in my uh, team, Fatma was our leader, um, really nice. Emirati lady, very professional, very passionate. Uh, Marwa Al Khatib was uh, was part of the team as well, and uh, you know all three of us. I think we worked together very closely uh, for the three years that I was there. Um, on the on the sales side, um, Janaid, uh, who uh, who came from actually from South Africa to. Uh, to work in the bureau, he's a bureau expert. Um, you know, uh, has been working in credit bureaus all his life. Um, 
Badar uh, on the IT side. Uh, so so many people uh, from you know uh, from different nationalities and uh, different places that became you know we became friends and um, the purpose of the bureau was as I said to collect data from banks and you know there was a law that said the banks had to give us the data so the banks gave us the data however there was no law that said the banks had to buy the data so it took us a year uh, before we were able to crack our first customer um, I got to know all the banks really well um, they understood intellectually the value that um, credit reporting would bring to their uh, risk assessments and their loans processes but it was just a matter of integrating um, the credit reporting process into their own already established processes and so you know the minute we cracked the first bank the other 55 kind of followed suit and um, the bureau started uh, humming along we also you know worked with uh, a local marketing agency that uh, did an outstanding job on the uh, communications campaign so we launched uh, to the consumer at the same time and people started calling in and saying you know what is this and is this the same as a credit report I can get in the UK and it was uh, it was great the challenges we faced were you know some nationalities were not comfortable with their data being available to banks because of whatever reason um, and you know often we would have people coming and yelling in the uh, in the bureau uh, reception area and many times I would be called out to deal with them um, I used to work closely with the call center team as well um, you know to make sure that we were tracking what kind of customer queries we were getting so it was a really um, interesting exercise uh, during that time, we launched the office in Abu Dhabi as well, you know, set up a, because the official headquarter of the ACB is in Abu Dhabi, but the working office is, is in Dubai, and uh, because it's next to the DIFC, and you know, it's just, uh, it's, I guess that's just the way they set it up. So, it was, uh, it was an interesting and challenging assignment. Um, Things were going reasonably well during this time. I was able to finally settle with my creditors, as I mentioned in the last video, from you know the epic fail of my entrepreneurial journey. And in um, 2016, um, Ramadan, I think it was in June or July, um, I finally got done with my debts and settled my last uh, creditor payments. And so I was extremely, extremely relieved. Now, around the same time, my brother and his family finally moved to Canada. And, uh, you know, this is something that they'd been putting off, but they got to the point where if they didn't move, they would actually lose their immigration. And so they moved. And then, you know, I started visiting my parents in Karachi uh, regularly, and I asked them to, you know, move in with us. Uh, I said, look, you know it's just around the corner just come stay with us and then you know you you don't have to sell the house or anything you just um, just come stay and whenever you feel like moving back you know you can just come and go and they were like no no you know we're gonna we're, we'll come visit once every three four months but we can't come and live there so I was visiting them regularly I saw them becoming extremely weak um, getting you know older dramatically quickly in front of my eyes and it was something that I you know was very hard for me to accept and so I started looking for a job in Pakistan and uh, and I couldn't find one or at least not one uh, that was willing to pay a decent salary for you know it's kind of in line with my experience and background and so you know I was beginning to lose hope until one day um, 
someone who I had known for 30 years reached out to me um, for a potential role with his media agency. And so I will talk about that um, in the next video because that started uh, a very exciting part of my uh, of my career journey where after 10 years in Dubai or in the UAE I finally moved back to Pakistan so to learn more about that uh, tune in for the next video but uh, in the meantime um, this was a relatively quiet time for me. It was a time of consolidation. It was a time of, a time of paying off debts and regaining my sanity and kind of uh, recovering from the knockout punch that I had received um, in 2013 uh, with, my, with my last uh, entrepreneurial journey, uh, venture. So, um, I hope you're enjoying the series. I'm uh, I'm keeping it as real as I can, and um, I will continue to do so. Thanks very much. Have a great day.